This is the way it began that extraordinary night, the night he came. Uh, let me just let me just shut this thing off. Oh, what's that noise? Oh my gosh, it's the infrared radio band. I've locked into something in space, a pulsar or a, or a satellite. Uh. Hello, hello, this is K726XAA. Can you read me? Uh, they're answering, but I don't recognize the language. Why don't you just shut it off? I, I can't, I, I can't control it. It's locked in on the signal. Willie? Willie, what's that? Oh my gosh, it can't be. The lights, what happened to the lights? It's closing in fast. I think maybe we better... We... we have a visitor. Here. Not on the couch. Lynn, uh, clear off the coffee table, Lynn. Uh, quick, it's heavy. Heavy and hairy. <laughs> I can't believe it. What do you think it is? A real alien. Willie. Willie, what is it? I don't know. Brian's right. It's an ALF. What? An ALF. An A-L-F. That's short for alien life form. Can ALF stay in my room? No. No, this thing is not staying in anyone's room. It's not staying. Why not? E.T. got to stay. E.T. was a movie. This is real. This is on our coffee table. <laughs> this is incredible. Truly amazing. After all those years of wondering and hoping that it might be possible to contact alien life, to have this happen, it's a miracle. It's the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. We've got to get rid of it. Absolutely. <laughs> we don't know anything about it. It could be dangerous. It could be diseased. It could be hostile or have hostile friends or acquaintances. It could be anything. Your mother's right. We'd better report it to the authorities. But what if the authorities do something to it? Yeah, what if they poke needles in it? No, they wouldn't poke needles in it. Would they, Willie? Well, they could. <laughs> I don't think they would, but they could. And they might. I know this is very exciting, but I don't see any alternative. We've got to report this. What other choice do we have? Oh, oh. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, if it's not too much trouble... How about fixing my spaceship? Hello, read my lips. It talks. It's heavy, it's hairy, and it talks. Good. Now, how about fixing my spaceship so I can get my heavy, hairy body out of here? <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure I can fix your spaceship. I mean, not tonight, not, not in the dark. 
Yeah, you could use a light in that driveway. You know, I've been meaning to put one out there, but you know how it is. You get busy with one thing and another. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I just seem so human. Hey, there's no need for name calling. I don't think we should get too friendly, Willie. She's right. Let's have a snack now. We'll get friendly later. Snack? What, what kind of a snack? You got a cat? You eat cats? You can't eat Lucky. No, no cat eating. Not in this house. All right, all right. How about a cat food can? I could use the roughage. Can we give Alf a can, Mom? Please. Please. All right. A dented one. Come on, Alf. We're going with you. That is amazing. Isn't that amazing? Willie, will you come down to Earth for a minute? An alien being has come to live with us and eat our cans and snack on our cat. Yeah, this will do fine. <laughs> all right, all right. Just give me one day, okay? If I can't get Alf going, we'll tell somebody. Just one day. Okay. He's quick. I'll give him that. Morning. Morning. What's going on out there? Nothing. Just screaming. Move out of the way. No problem. Let me put it this way, Willie. I don't think this is going to work out. I'll take care of it. Everything's fine. Everything's under control. Interesting concept. Please, come away from her. Come, come on, come on, over, over here by me. We have a little problem we have to discuss. Boy, you're blind as a bat, aren't you? No problem. You must understand that Kate is very nervous about this whole thing. Absolutely. Who's Kate? My wife. Oh, yeah. She snores. She doesn't snore. You're calling me a liar? Just keep your distance, all right? And try to be considerate. No problem. That is not considerate. That is the opposite of considerate. That is inconsiderate. Look, look, let's just, uh, let's just settle down here. Uh, let's just take this one step at a time. Not, there's no need for you to shave. You'll look fine. I want to do everything you do. You're my idol. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shower now. Count me in. I'd like to take it along. Thank you. Okay. Just don't use all the hot water. Do you mind? Never saw a thing. And stay away from the window. We've got a very nosy neighbor, Mrs. Akmanik. Akmanik? Sounds like a typo. Just don't let her see you. She might turn you in. Trevor, is there such a thing as a cross between a kangaroo and an aardvark? Ah, stop putting yourself down. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about that thing staring at me from that bathroom window. What? I don't see nothing. Well, it was there a second ago, and I think it was shaving. Yeah, right. And I'm Sean Penn. <laughs> Towel. You talking to me? Yeah, would you have me something to dry off with, please? You got it. Let's do the trick. No problem. Yeah, yeah. How you doing up there, William? Frankly, 
Jim. I could use a little help. I don't know much about this thing. Me either. I just turn the key and it goes. I'll get the wrench, Dad. Hey, Lynn. You don't happen to have a phone in here, do you? No, why? K-L-V-Z bonus tune. 15th caller wins a new Porsche. Oh, wait. Forget it. Must be a licensed driver. Wrench, please. I'm a licensed driver. Quick, what's the name of the tune? Wrench, please. Born in the USA. No wonder I didn't know it. I'll call. Wrench! What's the phone number? Area code 311 Sorry, Dad. Thank you. Alf, I think you'd better try to make contact with your people. I have tried. I've tried again and again. It's it's an exercise in futility. I, I let's face it, I'm trapped here. I'll never see the, the purple side of my planet again. <laughs> 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 Too dramatic? <laughs> if you're not gonna help, put him out of here. Look, if you need me, I'll be in the house. We won't need you. I'll still be in the house. <laughs> Yo, lucky my man. So, kids, which one of these things is not like the other? Do you get Sesame Street where you live? No, and frankly, I don't get it here either. If you said it was the cow riding on the subway, you're absolutely right. Brilliant. This and the letter I in one day. I gotta get something to drink. Me too. Where are you two going? We gotta get something to drink. We're parched. Okay, but no soda pop and nothing to eat before dinner. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Jeez, what's with the warden? <laughs> I said no soda pop. It's not soda pop, it's beer. Uh -uh. You're about out of course. <laughs> what? Give those to me. Hey, hey, careful, his is still full. Now you just listen to me, Alf. I will not allow this kind of behavior in my house. This boy is only six years old. He is not to drink beer, and you are not to drink beer. And I don't know what it's like on Mork or whatever planet you come from, but... Melmac. What? Melmac. That was the name of my planet. It's also what it was made out of. What do you mean, was? Well, you see, that's the thing, Kate. Uh, ma'am. Melmac's history. Wait a minute. Um... Are you trying to tell me that you can't go back to Melmac? It exploded. This was my street. <laughs> now, now, if Willie fixes my ship, I suppose I could start a new life somewhere else on some desolate, crater-filled asteroid, <laughs> spend the rest of my life fending off gamma rays. No, Alf, no. We want you to stay here with us, don't we, Mom? Brian, please, try to understand. Hey, the kid wants me to stay. <laughs> Alf, do you mind? Oh, yeah, no problem. Honey, we can't hide Alf forever, and I can't go on like this, watching him every moment, wondering what he's going to do next. Uh. Good. He won't break the rules anymore. Will you, Al? Cross my heart. <laughs> How you doing, Lucky? <laughs> See? No problem. <laughs> oh, no! Who could that be? I don't know. Don't answer it, Mom, please! Brian, I, I am going to answer the door. No! Yes, it's probably just Mrs. Ockmonic, but even if it's not... It's not. What? It's not Mrs. Ockmonic, unless she's just joined the army. <laughs> it is a military man. What if he wants to take Alf away? 
I don't know, Brian. But if that's what he's here for, and if I decide that's the right thing to do, you just have to understand, okay? Yes, Mom. We gave it the office. <laughs> Did you fix the spaceship? I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. I just, I don't have the right parts. Ball's in your court. <laughs> Sis Tanner? Yes? I'm Darnell Valentine with the Alien Task Force stationed at Edwards. Mind if I come in? Yes, I do. Fine with me. <laughs> Mrs. Tyler, we've received an anonymous tip that you might be harboring a space creature. Oh, a space creature? Yes. Hairy, about three feet tall. Is, uh, is he considered dangerous? Hard to tell until we get in the lab. Uh -huh. And, um, what would you do with him if you did get him, you know, in the lab? Oh, the usual battery of tests. We'll see how it responds to intense heat. Freezing cold, high voltage, toxic substances, pain, <laughs> sleep deprivation, inoculation. That's needles. And of course, dissection. Why don't you just pull its toenails out? You didn't let me finish. <laughs> don't bother. We are not harboring any space creatures. Hi. Thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, excuse me, sir. Could you just tell us who gave you our name? As I told Mrs. Tanner, that information is strictly Akmanic, uh, anonymous. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, thanks. Mom. <laughs> I love this woman. <laughs> thing going. Melmac Touch. <laughs> Hello. Anybody there? Yo. Calling anybody from Melmac. Hello. Skip. Larry. Muffy. It's Gordon. Look, I don't know if you can hear me, but I just wanted to let you know I'm okay. I'm, I'm living with what they call a family. Yeah, they're, they're, they're it's sort of like a herd, only smaller. Yeah, there's this guy named Willie, and he's got a good heart and lots of smarts for someone without fur. Then there's his wife, Kate. Oh, oh, and hey, dig this. Her hair's the same color as mine. Yeah, only hers is natural. Ha! 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 Yeah, yeah, and they've got these two terrific kids who, who both idolize me so so you know they're okay but uh i wanted to tell you something i uh i really miss all of you and uh the thought of never seeing you again sort of breaks my heart so uh you know if you could try to get in touch with me uh or better yet come by and uh, I'll introduce you to these lovely people. And then we could eat their cat. <laughs> So, the droid says to the Cranville, to tell you the truth, I'd feel even better if she lived another six light years away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Tanner. I think that really was amusing. Six, six light years away. <laughs> I guess you gotta be there. No, I was! <laughs> be a black cloud, but what are we going to do with Alf when Lynn has her pajama party next week? Oh, that's right. Hey, no problem. I wear a size five, but nothing with feet in it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got
got a zillion of them. Here's another one you won't like. Look at these two space travelers are going through Andromeda, see? And they run into a space patrol. He was a rookie. Now remember this, it's important for the end of the story.